which really I mean Endgame is really what this what WoW is about for a lot of, most of the most of the players I guess because when you are a lot of the features are only really available to you at Endgame uh, when you hit the max level which currently is 85 yeah. soon to be raised to 90 in the next expansion yeah so this game aged very well as we said the graphics have been rehauled and everything looks better and mm. they, they've, they've made everything work a lot smoother and better and more convenient for everyone uh, yeah this is my level 50, 85 mage Um, I'll just throw you an invite. Where are you hanging out? Oh, down there. What professions do you have on the on your mage? I have jewel crafting and tailoring. So yeah, there are flying mounts in this game. If you didn't <laughs> see that already, this is one of the major cities in World of Warcraft, the Alliance major city called Stormwind. Everyone is in the city because portals to other places are close to the city. Personally, I prefer Ironforge over this because it looks much better than this, but this is more convenient. Oh, there you are. Oh, what is this? Yeah. Chromacus, uh, Chromacus mount. That looks awesome. I think that's a, that's a mount you can buy. If that's the, yes. the mount I'm thinking of, the golden thing. Let's not get into that, otherwise I'm going to just hate on Blizzard all evening. <laughs> <laughs> They are not as bad as some of the other games we've been playing, though. It's one thing, though. I mean, I remember I bought the Sparkly Pony, and they they said specifically that it was a limited amount, and it's still you can still buy it in the store at this very moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was too much money in it. Yeah. One of the things I really like now, I'm uh, we are playing on a fairly active realm here, but one of the, th the things I like when logging in is just that there is a lot of players in the world still. Some of the, the other games we've been playing has felt kind of empty. And I'd certainly say that isn't the case for this game. It it feels kind of empty when you're questing in the world because there right now there isn't a lot of things to do in the world when you're a max level player, but there certainly is a lot of players hanging around in the cities. Yeah. So, I can't, so I'm you want to sure. have a go at a crap? Yeah, I'm just showing here. I'm going to try some tailoring, I think. Um, uh, what can I make? That's a good question. Okay, so the way crafting works in this game is that we have... Uh, you have the primary and the secondary professions. And each character can have two primary professions. And primary professions are then again like split up into gathering and crafting professions, where you're using the gathering profession to like gather herbs or ore or whatever out in the world, and then refine it. And then you're you're crafting stuff from the crafting profession, like armor or potions or s stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's and, pretty straightforward. And every yes, it is. And every profession have a benefit to uh, to that can be uh, more of a certain stat, uh, more uh, haste, more uh, critical strike chance, or uh, whatever. So now I just created this gem, oh. and I could, I would be able to put that in my gear. As you can see, you can uh, add a hand enhance your gear, so you can customize a bit, but what kind of stats you want. But again, this got pushed into a certain way that you only really use a certain amount, a certain stat with a certain specialization. You, it's not it's it's very limited it, i mean you can say that you can do whatever you want but if you want to be part of a hardcore raiding guild then you're going to do it a certain way anyway so because otherwise you would be considered a bad player yeah again the same thing with always optimizing your character yeah So they made this game really easy because um, 
there are certain things uh, you can now level your guild, for example, and th with that come benefits like making feasts, uh, which give everyone food buffs, which you previously, everyone had to make their own food buff, you had to go fishing or whatever, cooking, and make your own food buff and bring it to the raid. Now, you just make feasts with the guild and everyone can eat from that, so you put down a feast on the floor and everyone eats from it. The same with flasks, which are, which are like potions that last long and persist through death, that increase a certain stat. And the guild also automatically gets money from every monster you kill in a guild group. Or, no, not even in a guild group, just anyone in the guild. So well, it depends if you're like if you're running a dungeon, there have to be a certain amount of members from the guild before it give you guild experience. But if you're just questing on your own, yeah, it's experience. Just yeah, yeah but perfect. I'm I mean I mean gold, the the guild. Oh, gold. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm just talking about yes, that grinding is pretty much obsolete in this game when you have a proper guild because everything gets done for you. you the guild bank will have a certain amount of gold at some point. That will that you will never lose gold anymore, and your repairs will be free from the guild bank, your materials and everything that you use. So you don't. There's no more reason to go out in the world unless you want to do daily quests or maybe finish off a questing zone or or um, archaeology. <laughs> ar archaeology, I guess, yeah, or something like that. But which is a sec secondary profession in the game that probably didn't work out as well as Blizzard had hoped. Uh, no. There's a bit too much randomness involved in it and a bit too much grind. No. Mm, but yeah, this is actually a topic that we, have, we haven't really been talking about them that much in the, in the other games that we have been showing off in this series. And that is, of course, partly because we've actually been playing this game uh, more than, than the other games. And so, so if we had Join us if in we the program, on the subject before, it's because we've like been, been reading about it. Say what? Was it? Join us in a battleground so we can play a little bit in the meantime. Okay, let's take um, Twin Peaks. I haven't ever seen that one. Uh, but yeah, one of the big issues with the game right now is just that everything you can do is something you can do from the city, more or less. You don't, like right now, I just queued up for a battleground. Um, and it just works, it's just something you do through a UI menu. Select the battleground and... Actually, I can just promote you to leaders and you can show it off, Ozzy. You yeah. select the battleground and you press join, and same with, with the dungeons, if you want to go to those. So, you don't have to leave the city anymore, and as Ozzy talked about, it's very easy to get to the point where you actually don't have to do anything at all, except from just go to dungeons, go to raids, go to battlegrounds, where everything just works from within the city, so they have lost some of the open world feel, indeed. They also added something called rated battlegrounds, so you can, it's more competitive with your guild, for example, uh, which is, I haven't actually really gotten into it, but it's actually kind of cool. And then you have arena, where you do Two versus two, three versus three, or five versus five. Also very competitive at high level. It gets really. Uh, you need to know your classes, all the classes, really well because you need to know how to react in which situation. It can get very hectic. I've been pretty much a PVE player because I never really liked the PVP at a high end level that much because uh, I don't know. I just never really enjoyed it. Too much elitism and stuff like that going on. But it's definitely a, a big part of the game for many players. Oh yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically that's about the end game more or less. The biggest, I mean, we the have, biggest yeah, problem that I have. One. The biggest problem that I have with it is that everything in this game is very gear dependent. You, you before you go do anything serious, like high end PvP, you need to get yourself gear, and that, that takes a process that you really need to grind like points for and then you get your gear and then you can then you can finally if you're a good player you still need to spend that time grinding for gear and it's it's kind of yeah it always put me off because I already spent so much time in PV I didn't have time to do it for PvP as well because in PvP there's an added stat which you cannot use in PV, P PvE which is called resilience that reduces certain damage from players and stuff like that. Uh, 
Actually, oh, see, so we never really talked about the stats, did we? No, I don't think so. I'm going over it right now here, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Cool. Just. It's it's very simple. So we, games in the past, you had like a lot of different stats, but and here you just have strength, agility, stamina, intellect, and spirit. And depending on what kind of player you are, you need intellect, being a caster or a healer. You need spirit if you're a healer. Stamina is if you're a tank. Although stamina is also very nice in PvP, of course, because it gives you health. Agility is used by. Uh, rogues and hunters and enhancement shamans which are melee shamans melee shamans and strength which is good for melee characters that don't use agility um, Ozzy, sorry to interrupt you but I just noticed um, I may have done a little mistake you are not in a battleground I see yeah, you did join battle instead of joining <laughs> but, but I certainly am did I not sign up as a team? No. Oh God. Oh, that's. Um, can you see? Try and sign up for as a team. Yeah. I should be able to get into another one. <laughs> oh God, this is stupid. Join us group failed. It says. Failed. Is that because I'm in one already? I think so. Oh God. Uh, well, I can try and leave it though. I'll probably get the deserted debuff. That they implemented. Oh well, um, sorry about that. That wasn't. Uh... So in the latest, one of the biggest part I was concerned with the game is raiding. It's epic. It takes, you know, you need to gear up for it. It takes time to learn the bosses, play with your teammates, and it takes a while to get a good group together. So what they added in the latest patch is a raid finder um, where you now have three different difficulties in raiding which is a normal mode where you just go make a group together on the same server and you go you know into the instance and do the in and it's generally you know not too difficult but can be hard and then you have heroic mode which enables after you kill the last boss on normal mode and that's generally pretty hard especially the later bosses in the instance uh, but now they added like an easy mode which is <laughs> just looking for raid mode and you just sign up like you would for a dungeon or a battleground and uh, you do it with random people which previously would mean madness well at least in previous in the first two games like the vanilla wow and burning crusade that would be a weird thing to do but uh, it's to cater yeah, to the raid, people raid who don't have time to is... organize, but they do want to raid and they do want to see the instance. That's that's the people who it's for, and it's also kind of for to gear up quickly to do normal mode, I guess. So yeah, raiding is one of the part of the game that has it has some it has stayed static in some ways, but in other ways it changed a lot because it's starting to be really the the hardest of the hard thing you could do in this game, and more or less the only real thing to do at endgame uh, you would be 40 people grouping up together uh, to do a raid and it could take hours to just not even hours days weeks months to just get one single bus down and mm -hmm. there'll only be th this uh, one difficulty level which was well hard difficulty level but they have then over the years moved it a bit uh, they added in the first expansion they they reduced the raid size to 25 man for the for the hardest raids and they added a 10-man raids as well which was kind of easier for more people to enjoy and again they changed that in in what's called uh, Wrath of the Lich King with uh, where every dungeon was both for 25 and 10 man so you could decide which uh, which setting you wanted to go at and they also introduced the heroic mode which sorry, I just talked about yeah um, well, so I'm very sorry that I can't. <laughs> yeah, I, I signed up for a raid, I'm, but it does not work. A bit of debuff. So here's but one of the here's one of the concerns I also have for this game is that because this game is so gear dependent, the difference between what gear levels are right now and what they used to be in the beginning of the game are 
insane. So if you go to do low level values, let's say you skipped a few areas questing and you want to go do them, it's it's not fun to do them because you like you're invincible pretty much. It's not very encouraging to go back uh, and then do some of the older stuff, other than maybe reading the lore, which is generally pretty good in this game. But it's something uh, what that... I do? Oh, you are just killing random Low thieves. Things. Yeah. That's nice of you. Okay. <laughs> Um, but it, it may sound like we are being a bit too negative towards the game, I think, but it's certainly not supposed to be... I mean, we don't hate the game, and it, the game is by far the best of the, the games we've been showing off so far. I mean, they've yeah. done a very good job, but keep, kept it somewhat fresh and uh, updated it, uh, removed annoying features. The UI is very slick. There's... I think they generally do a good stuff of introducing new features to the to the player along the way. Yes, yes, they have done very well. This game aged very well, and it's it's fun. If you are new, this game will be awesome for you because it's the the, the combat is fast paced, the UI is very slick, and everything works very well. The animations are nice, you know, combat is fast. The leveling experience the is extreme, is extremely awesome. fun. Yeah, and you'll have fun. But if you are a player that want to stay in for the long run and uh, you are very much an adventurer and you like to you know take a long time with things then you're gonna get bored with this game at some point because the only good part about this game is all instance pretty much especially when you get to a max level and it's kind of sad because there's this whole game world that is extremely pretty and cool and uh, they're gonna try to fix it a little bit in the next uh, in the upcoming expansion, but I have yet to see what they're actually gonna do. But uh, we'll see. I'm actually in in the beta of Mr. Pandaria, and we may try to get some videos out for you specifically about the well about Mr. Pandaria, uh, which is more or less totally uh, well non-related to this to this series. But we may try that. Uh, anyways, I don't know if there's much more we can show off. We could, of course, jump into a dungeon, and but then we'd have to leave the the poor guys in there when we're done filming. Otherwise, I don't know what else there is to show off. I mean, no, they have a they have a reputation system in the game, which has been well as anything else streamlined a lot. So during an expansion, you have certain factions that you can improve your reputation with through different means. Um, most of that means running dungeon or doing some, some daily quest for them. Daily quest is a system where you can complete a quest and they can come back the next day and, and do the same quest, another quest over again. And it's a, it's a system they implemented to keep people from grinding away too much and res restrict players in some way. But by now it, it's been here for since the second expansion and it's actually a system that has become rather boring because it will often end up being the same quest you return to the next day, so it's actually just the same quest you repeat every day. So the, the grind is very much still there. You just can't, like, uh, work up your reputation from from a low status to an exalted level in a day. It's time to uh, end up with a duel. Okay, can I be allowed to change spec then? Because I think it would be more fun if I'm a, if I'm a DPS spec as well. Yeah. Sure. Should I go arcane or bull? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go arcane. Whatever makes you easier to kill, I'd say. Instant invisibility might be nice. Oh, I don't know where all of my keys are because uh, all my add-ons are gone. Because <laughs> we, d I don't play this game anymore at the moment, and I deleted my folder. So. Um. All right, this has been a long time since I've been uh, been playing on this character as well. But I'm uh, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, I'm just uh, eating up because an arcade match without mana is useless. Well, you're useless anyway, Ozzy. No worries. <laughs> 
All right, ready? Ready. Wait, wait, wait! I'm just gonna give you focus magic. Is that possible? I don't. Doesn't that benefit you? Oh, it benefits me as well, right? It doesn't work. Wait, hold on a second. I think it's a macro that doesn't work right now. There we go. <laughs> okay. You ready, sir? So this time nothing should come between us. Yes, I am ready. Oh dear god, the damage! The ah. What the... Okay, so... Hey, did you just... What? Oh... Oh man, you used mirror images. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, was like, lagging. I think I actually had your. I was lagging I think badly I had there. Your targeted. Well, you still won because your nuke is just so insane. Yeah, I was failing. I didn't put I my like, mana shield up I, because I, it's I not bound target. to anything. My mana shield is not bound to anything. I don't even have it on my action point. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, well, I just I'm all this just brought you down with the uh, with my dots, but um, <laughs> but sadly the the mirror images kind of threw me off, so I ended up getting uh, targeting one of your yeah mirror images, and then I was just like, what the fuck? How did you just? Oh, I see, and then I died. <laughs> so all right, all right, Mr. O.C., you bested me. Yeah, it was about time you killed me in two times in a row now in the game. So hmm, that's probably true. But uh, oh well, I'll beat you again next week. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Our next game will be Guild Wars. Should be very cool yes. to play. Guild Wars the first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also an an interesting game. Uh, got out quite a while ago. That's back from what two thousand and five. Yeah, uh, and they also do some some very interesting stuff. One of them being that you're not allowed to jump, but we'll get back to that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. But thank you everyone for watching. Um, and please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of this series. Please, if you have any comments or if you have any crazy stories from your life in World of Warcraft, l put it in the in the comments. Yeah. And We'll be sure to read them and reply to them. Hey, do you want a portal? And otherwise, I think. Ah, uh, no, that's fine. I'm. I I'm totally all right. I was gonna make you a portal to uh, something weird. Dalaran or something. <laughs> all right. Bring it on. Um. What do we got? Oh, Exeter. <laughs> So I guess we'll end this video with me stepping through uh, this portal to some place where I'll be stuck f until my hearthstone is on cooldown. Oh, the, cool the, the times I remember in 40-man raids uh, in the old days where you think, thought that the warlock would make a summoning portal and you, the mage made a portal and half the raid teleported back to the <laughs> main city. <laughs> Good you old days. are a horrible person, Osiris. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh well, thank you everyone and uh, see you later. Bye bye.